sensory organs, our eyes. Our eyes help us see this beautiful world. The eyes contain about 70% of the body's sensors. These sensors respond to everything around us and send signals in the form of nerve impulses to the brain. The brain converts these signals to the images that we see. Only a small part of the eye can be seen as the eyeball protected within a bony socket in the skull. The eyeball. The part of the eyeball which we can see is the cornea. Eyebrows prevent sweat from dripping into the eye and the eyelashes keep out the dust particles. The eyeball is cleaned by tears each time we blink, every 10 seconds. Iris and pupil. The colored part of the eye is called the iris. The iris contains pigment called melanin. Those whose irises contain more melanin have black or brown eyes. Lesser melanin lends a blue or green color to the iris. The black area in the center of the iris is called the pupil. The muscles in the iris contract and relax while controlling the amount of light entering the pupil. How we see? When you look at something, light from the object passes through the eyes, cornea and the lens. It then gets converged and falls on the screen at the back of the eye called the retina. An upside down image is formed on it. The retina contains millions of light sensitive cells called rods and cones. Rods enable us to see in black and white and cones give us colored vision. These cells send signals of the image formed on the retina through the optic nerves to the brain. Retina The retina is the screen behind the eye where the image of an object is formed. The lens The lens is a transparent convex bulge protected by the cornea. Muscles around the lens help to change its shape. The lens becomes fatter when focusing on a nearby object and thinner when looking at a distant object. Our ears. The ear and the brain help us to hear. From music to nagging noises, the ear picks up all the sound waves. These sound waves pass through the part of the ear called cochlea. Sensors in the cochlea send messages in the form of signals to the brain, which in turn converts them to sounds that we can identify. The pinna. It functions like a funnel, channeling sound into the ear. Sound travels in the form of waves in the air till it reaches the ear, the outer, middle and the inner ear. The ear flap, also called the pinna of the outer ear, is the part we can see. It collects the sound waves and funnels them through the auditory canal into the middle ear. Here, the sound waves hit a taut piece of skin the eardrum and vibrate it. These vibrations in turn excite a spiral shaped fluid filled tube called cochlea in the inner ear. The semicircular canals in our ears detect the movement and the position of our head. Combining this information with others received from the sensors all over the body the brain is able to send messages to our muscles so that we can keep our balance. Sound waves hit the eardrum, making it vibrate. These vibrations pass along three tiny bones called the ossicles. This in turn creates ripples in the fluid filling the inner ear. 
When these ripples reach the cochlea, it sends messages to the brain. Taste and smell Our main senses, in addition to sight and hearing, are taste, touch and smell. Our sense of taste and smell detect chemicals in our food and the air around us. Chemicals in food are detected by taste buds in our tongue, while chemicals in the air are detected by a smell sensor called olfactory nerve. These sensors send messages to the brain so that you can taste and smell. The brain detects the difference between thousands of different foods and help us to recognize more than 10,000 smells. Touch sensors, skin, enable us to recognize temperature and texture. Smell sensors send messages to the same part of the brain that deals with emotions and memory. Nasal receptors The nasal cavity carries air to our throat when we breathe in. The upper part of the two sides of the nasal cavity is the olfactory area. It is lined with more than 25 million receptors. When we breathe in, the molecules creating the smell stick to the sensors and a message is sent to the brain to be decoded. The message is transmitted along the olfactory nerve. Our sense of smell is stronger than our sense of taste, which is why food often seems to be tasteless if our nose is blocked by cold. Taste map of our tongue Four distinct tastes are detected by the taste buds sweet, salty, sour and bitter. Taste buds in the front of the tongue detect sweet. Those at the sides detect salt and sour and the ones at the back detect bitter taste. Taste and taste buds Our tongue is lined with thousands of taste receptors which send signals to the brain. The brain interprets the information allowing us to recognize many tastes. Taste buds The bumps on the tongue contains taste buds made up of 100 cells each. An adult has 10,000 taste buds, approximately, but this number decreases with age. Inside each taste bud is a bundle of sensors that resemble the segment of an orange. Little bumps on the surface of the tongue help us to grip food as we chew or lick. The skin Skin is the largest organ of our body. Underneath its surface are millions of nerve endings sensitive to pain, pressure, texture, temperature and many more sensations. Millions of sensors in our skin send a stream of messages to our brain so that we can touch and feel our surroundings. Some sensors detect light, some touch, some sense vibrations or pressure, while others sense heat, cold or pain. Working together, different sensors give our brain a touch picture. Some parts of our skin have many more touch sensors than others, making them much more sensitive. For example, the nerve endings in our hands, fingers and mouth are more sensitive the nerve endings of the fingers are so sensitive that blind people can read by running their fingers over pages, covered in groups of bumps, representing letters. Many different sensors can be found inside the skin. Some lie deep in the dermis, while others reach up to the epidermis. Nerve fibers carry messages from the sensors to the brain. For example, if you put an ice cube on your palm, the sudden temperature drop makes cold sensors send messages to your brain immediately. The skin is the body's biggest organ. An adult skin weighs about 
3 to 4 kilograms. That is like wearing every single one of your sweaters at the same time. If you spread our skin, it would measure around 20 square feet in size, about the same size as a child's bed sheet. Our body not only disposes undigested food in the form of fecuses and urine, our skin disposes excess water and salts in our body in the form of sweat.